is up YouTube, Lazy Lama here, and here we are back with some Slay This Bar once more, ready to do a, a new silent run. Um, real quick though, I just want to see how the leaderboards are looking. We still got the top for sure. Uh, I could have sworn I did one this week, but um, I guess not. We'll probably have to pop in and uh, do one of those at some point as well. Uh, we are going to go for the ascension mode. I was thinking about just kind of taking a easy break off. I have been just kind of actually trying to beat the game as fast as I can. Um, not really like speedrun strats or anything, but just trying to see the best time I could get and whatnot. Uh, it's been an interesting venture. Uh, so I don't know. I've been playing kind of. I don't even know if I have the whale here. Ooh, so we got that, which is great for this because if I can get a free, there's a chance. If one of these is combat, though, it's not going to happen. But we might be able to get that guy. If not, we'll probably get to it with full HP. But we don't have a really a chance to heal till up here. Which is a lot of combat and elites. Might be best off going that way and trying to fight that one. I, mean, I do have an easier boss. Uh, we're gonna—I mean, we're gonna go for it. I think it's by far the best idea. Wait. Oh wait, no. There's a monster here. Yeah, there's no way I can do that. I don't know what I was thinking. For some reason, I thought that was a question mark. Uh. Yeah, no matter how I do this, I'm fighting three monsters first. Hey, it's alright. It gives me three easy cards. Um, with no loss of HP, I actually get the build back up to max HP because, again, in Ascension, there is more elites, or at least more and more often, normal enemies are deadlier. Elites are deadlier. Bosses are deadlier. I heal less after boss battles, so going between each floor, you heal less. Start each battle run, and then normal enemies are tougher. Um, so then instead of them being deadlier, the tougher is even worse. Uh, I do think, however, we're going to take the Perfected Strike and maybe build a Strike deck. You're going to let me give you an upgrade, a card off the bat. Um, Bash makes more sense right now, but Strike, if I'm going for Strike deck, and that being the deck, you have to have it upgraded. Uh, you're going to give me a chance to get rid of a block. I'll take it. Uh, we do want to replace that with like a Shrug It Off or something. In Ascension mode, you really don't want to not have um, any type of like combat or um, defense. You definitely want to be able to play. We'll take the Headbutt. It doesn't really obviously follow what we're going for. Um, yeah, so just 24 with the amount of strikes we have. And each strike, what does it add? Six? Three. Three damage for each card as the name Strike in it. So, like, Polo Strike? Perfect. That adds three damage to that card. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Not the greatest uh, thing to be fighting. We are going to just take that damage. Because um, now he's just... I can kill him with this if I wanted to. Uh, I can actually take him out now. But I want to get... I should have did it to this guy, actually. I probably could have just killed both of them next turn. I don't think I got a dim. I'll take the dazes, and we may end up just taking him out with that. I might double defense, and we're kind of waiting for that strike to come back around. I think we double defense, we smack you, and it's a little ways to damage, because obviously we're doing 20 damage with it. But we take no damage this way. We'll, we'll heal back the majority of what we took. We didn't get it, so we're going to double defense again. We're going to start getting a lot of dazes in here. Uh, we're going to hit him and start working him down because we pull that card and, yeah. So just 27, and honestly, we can actually just take him out and take no damage. And I will take that back to the top of the deck, and we're good next turn now. So we did that. We took... Did we take any damage the whole turn? I think we took a slight bit of damage at the beginning. Uh, when your HP is full... Yeah, that rarely happens... Um, we're not really going for an exhaust. I mean, heavy blade will most likely be used, but right now it's just not relevant, and I don't want to pick it up for thinking in the future. Like, it can be a really bad pickup. We can just kill the one hurting us. Um, yeah, because he's vulnerable now. So wait, wait a minute. Did I think that wrong? But now he's dead. We gotta still break their shields, which is kind of annoying. This is what I kind of wanted, because now I can kill him. Break his shield, we'll take the perfected back, and he's dead next turn. And we're back to full HP. Uh, it's going pretty good. Again, we're looking for anything with strike. Um, honestly, I don't want these. This could have went really well if I took... The oh, sorry, that doesn't exhaust. The true great we could have, but... And start trying to force exhausts in our hand. Again, I think we went that route. Uh, it gives us more like chances to upgrade, although we don't have a ton to upgrade. This is a terrible fight for us, though. This is where we're going to lose a lot of HP. Nothing is one hit kill. These guys are doing six. I mean, we have to. 
And then we're full HP, so that's why we got that. I think we just double defend instead of hitting one. And we hope we can just take one out next turn, or they hopefully they don't all attack. We heal up six of that, so. Um, we play a defend. We hit you. That would have been nice to have like next turn or at the beginning of the turn, but we take one damage. We're going to get some negative effects. Hopefully, I would say hopefully it's not weakened, but it is. Going to make this more interesting on us. Um, no. Oh, I didn't even kill you. Crap. I, <laughs> the weakened threw me off. All right. This is going terribly wrong. We're going to have to heal at one of these. I mean, let's just kill you. Kill you. Take this back, and he's dead next turn. We took way more HP or damage than I wanted to, of course. That was kind of unfortunate. I will take... Oh, no, Twin Strikes. Crap. I just saw that. I, I see the chance to make things vulnerable. Honestly, the way we did it's not really a bad thing either, but... That gives us more points, but I really think here for the heal, which is possibly not necessarily needed. I should have actually waited, and I should have upgraded a card there and then healed at this next one. Because we're probably going to take some damage to do this, dude. Come on, just give me... That works too, I guess. Perfected Strike, yes please. We do need to get that upgraded now, because one of those not upgraded is pretty bad. But they bounce off each other too, so the more strikes, the better. Again, I really wish I picked up that Twin Strike. Um, it's going to make us a weak. I really don't think so. We don't really need the gold. There's no shop right here. I do want to fight that elite, though. Not the greatest elite that I want to be versing personally, but we have... Uh, I really want to play this and this, but I want to get... All right. And we kill him next turn. I think it was worth the potion to not take any damage and just per like perfectly go through that. And I like Rampage... And we could, our deck's small enough, and if I can make it work, cool. But I think we're going to rely on those perfected strikes, to be honest. I mean, yeah, this can start to do a lot more damage. But I think we're not. We're like this. Um, these can be fun. We'll actually upgrade that so it goes free. So that's a random attack that costs zero. Uh, it can it can be awesome. It can give you some crazy stuff. Uh, so, again, we should be all right here. Let me, um... I would say if we get the thing that makes things vulnerable, we'll play that first. But we're going to do that, into that, and take this back. This is awesome to have. I mean, a little bit of block each turn. We are going to, however, actually attack through this, as dumb as it might sound. It's not worth doing six, though. All right, so it costs zero. We kind of have to play it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is double that. Actually, you know what? We'll go completely in. That does 18. And we still block everything. We're going to double defend again. And play that. We'll get the 22 off next turn. But we're only taking 4. Again, we don't full heal after this. So it's not like we can just go around taking free damage. I have to be smart about it. We're going to just pull this back. I could have pulled the uh, thing that caused 0 now. Because we took more damage. But uh, I think we're okay. Uh, we'll take 10. Or, well, four, but plus the little bit we take from her attacking. Um, we can kill, but we're going to take six damage. It's more than we take from him. I don't think we full heal uh, 56. I really don't. I do like feed. I don't think we're going to full heal going out of here. Okay, well, this is going to be a good insurance, basically, picking that up now. Um, basically, if we die, we come back with 50% 50, 50 HP. Um, we do want the shop, so if I can work a shop into this, I would like to double those, but it forces me into an elite, double elite with no heal in between, and possible two combat. Um, I go this route, and we come up here and hit that and fight an elite, that's also, it doesn't force me to it, actually. It's not necessarily the most HP out of all of it. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do. We're fine hitting a shop now, because we can afford... You know, pretty much anything. Uh, I almost played that defense out of no reason. Again, playing defense in a lot of cases isn't going to be worth it for us. I'm just going to play a ton of honorable on him. So if we can draw one of those. Do I have another one? No, I don't. 
Hopefully, I say, hopefully we draw this and it gives me something decent. Um, well, I'm not going to be able to do it, though. I can't... I was going to think and draw this, play this, play Pommel, but I, it's not going to work. It's so close. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. I wanted to kill him with feet, obviously. I didn't want to draw this either because I wanted to have that to make sure we had an attack. There could have been a chance we didn't. Um, I mean, we'll take Cleave. 11 damage to all enemies. We're looking for something good in here. 3 damage to all enemies isn't bad. Can no longer become weakened is awesome. Curses cannot be played. Playing a curse costs 1 HP and exhausts the card. I think we're going to take that and not care if we get curses. Maybe not the best choice in the world, but I think I'm okay with it. I don't want to buy any other cards. We'll save that bit of gold we got. I don't want to do that. Okay, I think I want to go that way. Not many elites in this route, which is kind of the unfortunate part. Uh, we're going to take some damage here, but we should be alright. No point of playing that. Like, We get two extra block if we play that. We say it would save two HP. Mm, shrug it off, I'll take a card draw. Again, I think that's the route I want into that, right? And then we can go up and fight that if we're doing really good, but not forced to. These guys I hate. I cannot stand fighting these. Wow. Really? Know, let's play the feed. Obviously not the best time to play it, but that was just... Ridiculous. Um, crap. I'm actually not going to be able to do that. We're going to weaken him. And they do six, I guess, but uh, playing the block wasn't worth it. We get six anyways, so that was unfortunate. Took a lot more damage there than obviously we want to. He's not attacking, he's just debuffing, so I'm okay not killing him this turn. We should be able to get the nine damage, obviously, out this next turn. Well, like that. Uh, this is actually a good card, but take a bit of damage. You play it for free. It just sucks to get it super early because it's not the greatest. We've been playing it for two card, you know, two energy is not terrible. Um, I think this one we're okay smithing. Uh, that just lowers it. It does more damage too, though. So it's not just lowering the cost. It is more damage. Makes that more killable. Gives actually a decent bit of block. I really wish this gave more vulnerable, but I think it'd be a little, a little overpowered. Maybe a bit too much. I think we'll just go with the, this. Not even for the cost reduction. It's more for the extra four damage. Possible free. All right. This could be absolutely amazing if we did the two card thing. We got the two card thing. Oh, my. So, basically, every time I play... Oh, my God. Every time I play a c attack that costs two or more is played twice. And something like this that is going to do 30 is going to do 60. Um, if I could make you vulnerable, oh my, you would be having a bad day. Sadly, I can't. But what I can do is that and draw that back for next turn. We do take 6 damage. We'll heal that exact 6 back. He's attacking again? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's not enough. Crap. Alright, we're taking a lot more damage than I obviously wanted to take. We might avoid elites at all costs, actually. I think we're fine. I can win off this, I think. I'm actually going to take another one of those. We're going to start setting up to be a bit more defensive. Bronze scales is cool. Definite heal. We need more HP. Where can I, is my safest route now? I mean, up there. We're not fighting elite. I don't want to do it anymore. Like, yeah, I'm confident because of that, but I just want to get through this floor, like, alive. Oh, wow. It's a nice little heal. Uh, I mean, we can kill the healer, like, now. Sucks that that's already drawn and not going to be able to be played for another 16 cards. Uh, it's actually really unfortunate. And that gets hit twice. But is that really... 
I'm actually gonna put that. Like, I'm gonna I'm trying to cycle through the, the cards faster. We're gonna take a lot of unwanted damage here. He's I'm just gonna just delay. He hurts himself every turn anyways. Like I wanna play Pommel and draw um draw a perfected strike, but there's a really high chance I don't draw a perfected strike. We play this into it. A second check it out. Now I don't want a perfected strike, but I don't actually I don't want to do any more card draw. I guess you're done with that. We block everything and he hurts himself a little bit. There it is. Whoo! Alright. Battle Trans is amazing. Clothesline wouldn't have been bad too. Is that a to apply twice again? Anything that costs like two cards now is godly. I have to take a ton of damage to do something like this now though. I have no way to like I mean I guess. That's still twelve damage. Um, well, that's kind of nice. Fire Potion. Heavy Blade. We just don't have a way to do it. I'm not going to take it. I'm just not going to take any cards. Please be... Okay. We only have one Defend not upgraded. But I didn't really want to remove necessarily anything. Um, this is unfortunate. This is one damage. So seven damage for all cards. That's not bad. I don't really need any of those per se. Get some good damage out. Cost no energy to do that, which is kind of unfortunate. Hopefully we draw like a perfected strike next turn. Uh, I was kind of hoping he didn't necessarily attack. Uh, he's doing more. So what I'm gonna do is do that. And we block the six. I was really banking on one right now. This does get played twice. Is anything more than yeah? Anything more than two? Is it attack right? Attacks more than two? Yeah. So like, upgraded uppercut. It's not a ton of damage, but weak and vulnerable. I'm gonna take it. Like, we need more energy to really make this deck start working. And we are definitely not ready to fight this boss. We're probably gonna die. Um, use up our our death thing. I mean, playing that would be kind of cool to get him vulnerable. Uh, we're actually going to set up, and yeah, we're just going in. We are going in. I kind of would have liked to do that, but I needed to play play that card. I mean, we can kill these pretty easy now. Looks like a. Mm. There's the perfected, but that. Oh no! How are you gonna hit me with that? I think we just rush him. Yeah, we can kill one of these, but he's half health. We might have to kill these. We're going to take a lot of damage from him, but mm, I don't think we can do this. I don't think we can do this. A free heavy blade. Okay, one minute. It's doing 30. We're taking... Okay, we don't full heal, so it's not like I can just go completely, like, whatever. Just take as much health as you want. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He just buffed them. I forgot he does that. I forgot he does that one. I should have played another defend instead. That would have been smarter because I wouldn't take any damage. He's going to completely debuff the crap out of me, which is super unfortunate. Um, oh, we're good. So we're, we've definitely got the kill on that little guy if we need to, but... Wait. Would that pair? What? We're trying it. Oh my god, that is like... I definitely don't want the intense one, but giving them two strength on Ascension 7 just sounds dumb to me. I think we just do this. Okay, I'll upgrade that. Cool. Dex potion, sure, and a flex. Not bad. Not great. That is a terrifying thing to see. Um, we are fairly decent HP. We can hit a shop or two. 
Force into an elite. Then can avoid with a lot of question marks. I like it. But one elite guaranteed fight. Let's do it. That's a terrible fight for me. However, I mean, we can just kill someone. These guys are doing 12. You have more HP. I guess kill you. Maybe it would have been worth blocking, but like, I don't know. I didn't want to use the battle chance and draw another like perfected strike or something. Yeah, I kind of wanted to save it for like now. Um, I mean, we take no damage doing that. He's going to revive himself, but we we'll just get him all low enough. We can kind of deal with it at that point. We don't have the greatest kill potential for like multi-targets like this. Uh, that temporary boosts them. Uh, we might as well smack. You have a double uppercut. Uh, he's hurting too. I can't place this as well. This doesn't get played twice. This is free. I'm trying to run this through my head. We kill you. Hit you for a free card. Playing that would make no sense, by the way, because it'll actually just come back. It's not like it does anything other than take up a spot on my card. Or hand. Um... Get that HP. There's no way we do this. Like, that turn by any means. Like, they're so close, but it's like... The vulnerable's not even going to last. I mean, it didn't matter if he's a vulnerable or a strike, I guess. But strike would have did a tad bit more damage. He's going to come back now. It's, it's like this is just never ending. I can't get a finish with this. My... My hand costs too much. Nah, I think we double defend. We let them all come back, but... Uh, we're going to lose to these guys. I don't know what to do. This actually might do it right here. Yeah, never mind. Uh, we're not going to kill, which is unfortunate. And we are going to take some damage, which is also unfortunate, but we definitely got the kill next turn. We're, oh, he killed himself. Super low HP, though. The second battle trans, I will definitely take. Um, I don't really want to add random cards. Well, um, I was going to just scout out a bit. What does that do? Whenever you gain block, deal three damage to random enemy. That is actually negative to have in the in the deck. Wouldn't mind a free trip. And then I'm just going to not go for any more. So I really don't. I just want to see what there was. Some colorless cards. I don't really want to fight an elite now, to be honest. There is a way to not fight that elite, and we just hit one shop, so. This is the one, last shop of the game, right? No chance for another shop unless it's a question mark, and we, we do have, oh, it's actually up like this. There's a ton of question marks, yeah. Uh, we actually could go that way instead, and hit an extra heal, and hit another shop, so. Ooh, I could really plan things. I feel like I'd play too slow at that. I'm going to take it. It lets me see, um, this is going to be bad, but I have to take you out. Um, Alright, as long as we live on these, I can actually see what order I'm drawing things. So, like, this is the order I'm drawing. This is my next hand. That is literally my next hand. Well, too bad he's not doing his multi-attack one. Alright. We're low HP. We gotta we gotta fix this. The end of your turn, yeah, that's too risky. Um, Warcry could be good because I can see what I'm gonna be getting to whether it's even worth playing or not. So like battle trans, I draw these three. So I don't want to do it because I don't want to get battle or I don't want to get that out of there. Um, although pulling a strike out would allow something like that thunderclap to be in there next turn. So instead of attacking. It's probably going to be actually better to pull that strike out. And now I have a more, like, thought out um, plan, you know, plan here. Add that weak to him. He's doing three damage, which we're blocking. It's like none of that matters. Uh, I think this is buff turn. I mean, a free vulnerable, I'm never going to say no to. Um, I mean, it really just makes sense to re-put that back in my deck. And, oh, this is his, his big hit. All right, well, let's find out if this works. It did not play four times like I thought it might. 
And I'm now going to pretty much die. Well, that's unfortunate. I tried. Tried to make something cool happen. Aww. I'm trying to make this happen. Oh, uh, we definitely just want to get rid of you. I guess you may have been better off getting rid of the poison, but do it that way. I do think I want a little bit of possible strength adding in here. Again, we could technically die and come back. Um, it is possible for us to do that, so. Uh, this wheel always kills me. I swear, it's a curse every time. I thought it was a curse there. I was going to be real upset. I mean, again, we get curses. We can at least play them. We got a relic. Next two curses obtained, we don't even get. We're not going to get any in the rest of this run. So this is pointless. Um, we're not in that HP to fight you, so I'm going to just just say no. Great two attacks. Thunderclap bash. Not bad. That bash could be nice. We're going to take another rest. We're going to try to get back up the full HP for this fight. And I think I'm going to go this way. It's less... Uh, if we even get by this. We're going to get another battle chance, which we can't use. Um, but I can play this. See what that gives us. Circle of Daze into your job pile for 7 damage. It's free. Get rid of the damage dealer. I don't want to draw that perfect trick. And this is nice because it does more damage than like something like this. I guess I should have did that first, obviously, but we could have did a bit more damage. We're going to just kill this dude next turn and, and take, um, take eight damage. And I don't want to play that. Um, not really worth buffing myself. He blows up after next turn, so we have to make him dead. We're getting a lot of days in the deck, but it's okay. Uh, I mean, he's at six HP. He's dead there, and you're dead there. Not too bad. Again, low on the HP. Ah, I'm going to take another one. We have a 30-card deck, so having three of them isn't bad. Plus, they make each other stronger each time. All right. Last shop possibility. Another trip is probably decent, actually. I think that makes more sense. Please just, yeah, see. So, wow, that's actually awesome. Three attacks, single turn gives dex. Probably not really going to be going a dex route or anything. We're definitely healing. Um, I want max HP going into this. Uh, we've made it. Will we get it? I got no clue. That's unfortunate because I really want to play that on him. I have another perfected which kills one of them next. All right, we're doing it. Yeah. It's a lot of damage. There's three attacks, too, which I didn't even think of. Um, play that. I guess get you closer to death, so we don't necessarily have to perfect him down. But we have to, obviously, kill these guys before they start strengthening themselves a ton. Um, the plan is to kill him now. Maybe it wasn't the best plan, actually. Take this back. That's to kill him, which is kind of the idea not to do. Um, all right, we obviously pop that. It's five turns of three HP at the end, so it's basically three HP reduction. To an extent, we're getting hurt big time. None of them are blocked, so yeah. I do want to boost my strength. He's going to start obliterating me, though. This guy has to die, and that's going to, like, kill me. That's unfortunate to play something so strong on him. Uh, I am going to do this as well, and we're going to play that one down. Oh, it doesn't play double, though. Crap. May not have been that worth it, but... You know, we have to kill this dude twice, so... I'm not going to play the battle trances, because I really don't want to cycle out the next three cards, really. There also gives me, like, a bash here, which... It double taps into a vulnerable, into that. Sadly, this vulnerable is going to purge off him. We are going to get the first kill. We should, I should say. These are both free. I mean, the, the amount of vulnerable on this thing. I'm 
Let me just redraw it with more block than I originally would have. I mean, we're going to not actually kill him there. He's going to kill himself in the first two attacks, so we'll take no damage. He'll die. Wait a minute. He healed the 10? That's unfortunate because it wasted like my turn. Because he's in like his weird mode. He healed that 10 though. 42. I think I accept the death. I don't think it's worth trying to not do it. Not the greatest turn. But my next 3 I can get another perfected. So. We take the death because we have, we have the tail. We're going to come back. Oh, he didn't even kill us. Crap, I didn't even think about that. Oh, there's shield. So we can technically... That whole hit right there is not even going to affect us. Oh, we're golden. Now he's vulnerable. We got a free one of those in. Free one of those. And I think we did it. He kills us. We come back 45 HP as long as we do... Next three cards. Not what we want. But I'm going to do it anyways to cycle them out. This doesn't hurt us, right? I should have looked at that. Oh, I do lose an energy. Wow, that's unfortunate. Now we might not win. Twenty-eight damage will be at ten. Yeah, we did it. Ascension seven down. Honestly, I tried to record or not even record. I tried to just be at level ascension off recording so many times and just could not do it. This has been killing me. 906 score, not bad uh, for Ascension 7. We played risky there. We definitely, if we went to all the elites I was planning, we definitely would have had a really high score. Um, well above 1,000. That's pretty good. Um, I'm happy with that. And all honestly, that was a good run. That was fun. That was an interesting one. Uh, that Necronomicon absolutely obliterates. Uh, that's a really high score. And then, uh, not there. Ascension 8 got in store for us. Elites are tougher. Yeah, it looks like it's like cycling through. That, that sounds terrifying. I don't want elites to be even stronger than they already are. Um, but it's a thing. Um, we're like at the halfway point through the Ascensions, which is cool. It goes up to 15. Uh, maybe one day we'll get there on Ironclad. We're definitely not going to ever on, uh, <laughs> on a silent. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm going to be streaming this game a bunch soon throughout the weeks and whatnot. I uh, plan to be streaming over my Twitch, so if you're interested in seeing more of this, make sure to go check me out over there. Uh, can ask me a ton of questions, give me advice, and uh, yeah, as always, I will uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace!